Having completed the 7 deadly sins, we are now finishing off with the 7 virtues of Dragon Ball Z. These virtues include charity, chastity, diligence, humility, kindness, patience, and temperance. Every single character in Dragon Ball will be considered, so with that said, the first virtue we have is chastity. Chastity is actually a weird word for me to say because up until the making of this video, I had no idea what it meant. Chastity is defined as refraining from sexual contact. Now, Goku actually when he was 18 comes to mind straight away. I say this purely because Chi Chi was throwing herself at him and Goku really didn't care. Eventually he did do something about it because, you know, Gohan. But overall I can't say that Goku refrains from sexual conduct because he has two kids. In fact, the perfect character for chastity would actually be Tien Shin Han. Early on in the Saiyan Saga launch, who was the two personalities chick that we never saw again, was actually trying to get with Tien. And he wanted none of it. He was just trying to become the strongest man he could become. So Tien takes out chastity in the seven virtues of Dragon Ball Z. Moving on to the next one, we have diligence. Diligence is simply defined as careful and persistent work. Basically just who gets the job done. And straight away, one of my personal favorite moments comes to mind straight away, and that is Gogeta vs Janemba. Gogeta shows up, takes him out very quickly, but that is not the only time we've seen him. If we're counting GT, some people do, some people don't, but if we're counting GT, Gogeta is the exact opposite of diligent. He did not get the job done. So just because of GT, I cannot put Gogeta down as diligent. Future Trunks, however, I can. Let's just go down the list. Freezer's army, Freezer himself, King Cold, the androids in his own timeline, even Cell. Future Trunks is 100% taking out diligence. Now these next two entries I figured could go either way. The next two entries are Humility and Kindness. Humility, obviously the condition of being humble, could go to Goku or it could go to Gohan. And it's the same thing with Kindness. But if I had to categorize, I would put Goku as Kindness and Gohan as Humility. And the only reason I have for that is during the end of the series, Goku isn't actually humble. Take for example when he's fighting Beerus. He's acting cocky, he's in his Super Saiyan 2 form thinking he can take on the God of Destruction. I would say Kindness. Kindness goes to Goku, humility goes to Gohan. Moving on to the next virtue, we have charity. We all know what charity means, being generous. And I honestly had the hardest time trying to find a character that would represent generosity. I had down guys like the Ox King because he delivered books to Gohan, but I realized that was kind of stupid because it's his grandson. The only time in Dragon Ball Z where I can actually remember someone being generous is Master Roshi. Now, generosity doesn't necessarily have to be in relation to money. We see Master Roshi giving away gallons and gallons of water to Nam's village for free. He is the original mentor of Goku. He did that mostly for free. I know it's implied that Goku got training because he found a girl for him, but honestly, it goes much deeper than that. He also sacrifices himself against Piccolo to try and stop him in Dragon Ball. I would say Master Roshi is generous, and considering we've already had Goku on this list, I'm not going to put him on here twice. Moving on to the second and final virtue, we have patience. Honestly, I was going to give this one to Whis, but then I took a look at the next virtue. Patience doesn't play that large of a role in Dragon Ball Z. However, there is one character that stands out among the rest, and that character is Vegeta. We constantly see Vegeta standing out in wastelands, looking up at the sky, thinking. If you're willing to stand there and think for days, because he has done that, he has stood there for days and just thought to himself. That is patience. Could you imagine someone like Goku doing that? I don't think so. Another example is when he was on Namek. Even though Frieza was leagues above his power, he was able to take the Dragon Balls from him simply by being patient. And that is a virtue. Moving on to the final virtue, we have temperance, which is essentially self-control, and I have to give this to Whis. The entire purpose of Whis's training is to control your ki. Also, notice how Whis never gets angry? That's because he has self-control. I can't think of anyone in Dragon Ball that has as much self-control as Whis. To this day, he is training both Goku, Vegeta, and Beerus to have full self-control. Not only in relation to losing their temper, instead having full self-control over their fighting style. So just to backtrack through the seven virtues, for chastity we had Tien, for diligence we had future trunks, for humility we had Gohan, for kindness we had Goku, for charity we had Master Roshi, for patience we had Vegeta, and for temperance we have Whis. Let me know if you agree or disagree and that concludes all religious content that will be shown on this channel. But as always, I will see you in the next Dragon Ball Z video.